Hey everyone, welcome to Birds of a Feather. Today we're showing you how to paint over chrome to upcycle a vintage toaster into a pop-up garden. First we're taking the toaster apart using a socket wrench. Be sure to save all the screws in a Ziploc bag so that you can reassemble later. Now we can access and remove the black handles. These side screws are what's holding the chrome onto the toaster body. Now unscrew the other side to release the other side of the chrome. The chrome is now free with the exception of the two side pieces which we'll get to in just a moment. Just two more screws on each side and the side pieces will be released too. Now that everything's disassembled, go ahead and clean the chrome for the next step. After positioning the vinyl sticker, it's now time to remove the backing. First roll back about a third of the transfer tape. Then I'm going to cut the backing with a pair of scissors to expose the chrome. Use a plastic scraper or putty knife to adhere the stencil onto the chrome. Re-adhere the painter's tape on the top and smooth everything out before proceeding to the next step. Now lift the transfer tape up from the bottom so that you can then peel the backing and pull it downwards. As you pull down, be sure to smooth with the putty knife. Carefully remove the transfer tape by pulling at a 45 degree angle. Time to spray the primer. We're using Coratac and an HBLP spray painter. I'll provide a link in the description for our tutorial on how to spray paint with an HBLP spray painter. The Corotech primer goes right over the chrome and also the vinyl sticker. After setting the first piece aside, continue spraying the side pieces. Let the Corotec primer dry. As you can see, once it starts to dry, the finish is perfectly matte. When it's time for the top coat, we're doing something a little different. We're using a Rust-Oleum spray paint and we're shaking it really well. We find that if you don't shake it long enough, as per the directions on the can, that it can be prone to spitting. We're also using this comfort grip handle because we find that it really, really helps with finger fatigue, so we don't spray without it. 
We suggest you test the spray can first before going directly to the work, so that's what we're doing here. Be sure to spray a light coat. We're going to do our first coat, let it dry, and then come back and do a second coat. One of the best things you can do for even coverage is to come back and spray at right angles like we're showing you here. We do that on both the first and the second coats. Set it aside to dry as you did with the primer and continue with the next pieces. We do the edges first and then we fill in the center. While those dry, it's on to our last piece for our pop-up garden. Don't forget to shake the can really well again before you start this last piece. You can just spray right over the vinyl sticker, as you did before. Read the directions on the can for dry time. Once dry, it's time to peel up the stickers to reveal the chrome. Using a hobby knife, peel up the corner of one of the edges of the sticker. Just use it to get going. Now grab onto it and carefully peel back at a 45 degree angle. 